and and we're back with another MMMTG opening today. We are joined with our esteemed guest, Mr. Fernando, and he's going to be opening up one of his Theros Beyond Death pre-release kits. So without further ado, Mr. Fernando, would you like to get started? Open. <laughs> Open. Hey. Give me cards now. Cartoons. Give Ooh. them all. So okay. right, all your card belong to us. All so funny, is this the first that you're opening of this set? Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay, in my heart, in my heart, I'm opening an entire box. In reality, I'm opening. Yeah, so we got you the. Uh, is this a Tessin champion? Yes. All right. The one one woman. All right. So one one lady. We have six juicy packs left. Yes, we got a white dice. Yeah. White dice. I think I like the simple dice better than the speckles, at least most of the time. I missed it. I missed when they used to do like something different. Some time. of the speckles are ugly though. All right. So what do we got in the pack? Cinder Oracle, Indomitable Will, Night of the. We're we're going through yeah, the comments. Why are we going through the comments? <laughs> I don't know. People, you know, some people might not know what these cards do. You go through the uncommons. All right, Elspeth's <laughs> Nightmare. Hello. It's a it's a kill spell. For mm -hmm. small things. It's pretty good. Uh, reveal their hand. Tackles the hand, the creature, and the graveyard. Yeah. This is interesting. There's everything you want for three Continuation of the sagas, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Here are the next born. This is an interesting guy. There's like four cards in this set that do that, have that effect. Yeah, it's really weird. But at least it's good for like red, white. Maybe they're trying to bring back red, white, like small boys. And we the enlightenment. Strange. <laughs> this man looks interesting. Minus one, minus one for each card in the opponent's hands. Interesting. At the beginning of Oki, each player discards a card. That affects. Interesting, especially on a six mana creature. Yeah. Oh, Dream Trawler. Dream Trawler. Play that in limited? It's a house. Play in standard? House. Anyone else? <laughs> oh, house. To be determined. <laughs> to be determined. Give it give it expert. If you want to have a, a house with oh, nice. terrible walls, you can make it into a house. Yeah, done. Yeah, so you got the, the Constellation Island and the Dream Trawler. Pretty good. Pretty Too good. bad it's not foil, but... <laughs> Man, but I just wish all my cards were foil. Exactly. You should be opening collector's packs. Dude, are we giving out the arena codes? Uh, no. Actually, here it is. See <laughs> other side for code. <laughs> Down, done. Gotta open it with my teeth. Gotta get in there. Oh, I wish I got that shot. <laughs> I don't it's think so. It's kinda like freehand right now. Not yeah, our usual we're just chilling. We're just getting it in, man. It's not our fault that Angel spilled coffee everywhere. Oh. Why don't I put him on blast? Satash and Petition. Hello. All right, all right. Game life equal to your devotion to green. They're not a singer. Enters the battlefield, target creature gets minus X, minus O. We're at blue devotion. It's a flash creature. Very nice. Ooh, oh, hey, a sudden, a sudden storm, sudden. That's it was good. a sudden storm. Yeah. Siana, Captain of Pelias. Uh, interesting card. Interesting card. Auras. Stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty good. There's like a top bunch seven. Of that do auras. Yeah. And she just looks for them. Yeah. Bricks. Like facts. Now, Bricks. Bricks. <laughs> This was, if you were opening this for, for pre-release, you know, just a pretty good. thought experiment, you, you've got Dream Trawler, <laughs> <laughs> and you've got Thrix, you're, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, dog. Yeah. The we got the, the forest, the the, human and the human soldier. soldier for your hero, the Nyxborn. Yeah, dog. Alright. Either we're playing, uh, what are we playing? Yeah. What are we playing? Right now, you know, I didn't really look at all the cards, but uh, it seems like we're playing blue-white, or you have some green, some green, uh... Constellation stuff. Green, on. white, splash, mm -hmm. red, maybe. It could be like green, white, keep green, white, splash, blue for Dream Trawler. Oh yeah, that actually guess. be pretty good. Depends how good your blue cards are. Dream Stalker, Mana Core, cast your first spell, deals one damage. Eh. The Binding of the Titans. This one's interesting. By the top three cards of the library into the graveyard for each player. Exile up to two cards in the graveyard for each creature. Exile this way, gain one life. Return target creature or land card from the graveyard to your hand. Um... It's like, it looks for stuff for you, and throws their stuff in the graveyard. You exile whatever you want. It's really weird, though, because there's a lot... You don't want to fuel the enemy's graveyard all the time. I've had a few games where I've uh, where my enemies have played that, and then uh, they've actually died to the mill. <laughs> grindy. These games are really grindy. Depends, yeah. But. Uh, Blood Aspirant. Just, uh, just sacrifice a permanent, and you put a 1-1 counter on it. It's a tap ability to sack stuff, though. 
uh, There's a weird, like, damage, sub theme of, of block. sacrifice in red. Yeah, it's weird. Especially, it's like creature or enchantment, so I guess that could be good. Yeah, the intervention. Uh, Perforos is an intervention. I don't think the any of the interventions are, like, particularly interesting. But they're not bad. They're fine. They're okay cards. Thassa's one is good. Yeah. Oh, the mountain to go with your intervention. Yeah, dog. Right, and so a cedar. You gotta roll into the next pack. So we got about less than three minutes. <laughs> nah, dog. <laughs> Forgot to clear some space for the recording. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, dog. Feels bad. We're just skipping through everything. Faithful End, just deal three, three damage to target creature, square one. That's mm -hmm. pretty alright and limited. Shimmering Chimera, upkeep, return other target creature, uh, target enchantment you control to its owner's hand. I guess you can play those sagas over and over again. Another enemy of the online. Mantle the Wolf. Ooh, that card is a house unlimited. Yeah, dog. It's pretty strong. Makes yeah. two wolves. Makes your guy kind of big. I think deal with it. You still get two stuff out then of it. Then we got Swampy Wompy with some gold, bro. That gold got up. some gold. That metal from the Rowan Games. Yeah, dog. That was an interesting thing that some people pointed out online. That in the original Theros, they were talking about the Rowan Games and how they don't give out medals. And then they say that in the first Rowan Games, they give out a gold medal. Oh, so Renata. at some point along the line, they stop giving out medals. <laughs> yeah, dog. Renata, Call to the Hunt. Power equal to your devotion to green. Each other creature you control just about for one on counter. That's pretty good. Maybe you play this in like a yeah. commander deck. Agonizing remorse. Reveal their hand. Non land from it. That's a it. Yeah. It's all right. You lose life, but whatever. Birth of Miletis. I've seen a lot of play mm -hmm. in different in different shells. Makes there's, there's an interesting one that uses Dance of the Mance with it. Interesting. Airball's oh, intervention. Another intervention. Hey. Again, another interesting card. Yeah. And oh, a we got swamp a swamp. And a spider. And then we're down to our last pack. Honestly, nothing nothing really too great. It's pretty uh, depressing, I'm going to be honest. Sure, you'll have an alright deck, but like, there, there was two omens in this as soon as I opened it. Jesus. No. Chain of Arachne. Nothing too special. Battlefield damage equal to the power to target creature with flying. It's, it's pretty good. The escapes are right, I guess. Well, you know, the five mana, and I think it's four cards, but it comes yeah. out as like a four or five, and yeah. it keeps coming back. Escape the, is actually, you like, if you only have one or two escapes in this format, you can do it more yeah. than once. Yeah, it becomes like a bomb later. Like that one and Wolf Strider are really good. Heliod's Punishment. <laughs> it's just a bad pessimism. Yeah, it's just a bad pessimism. Sweet Oblivion. <laughs> This is the mill card. It's interesting. Escape. There is like a mill sub theme, but I think that that's not the card that does it. I think there's a constellation one that's a lot more efficient. It's like a one mana O2, the constellation mills. If you're trying to win that way. Anyway, I don't have obstruction. <laughs> of obstruction, yeah. First strike, loyalty abilities, a planeswalk, use your opponent's control. One more to activate. So just one. If you only got one. And a forest and a zombie. Honestly, wasn't too great. I'm going to be honest. Pretty you sad. know, that, that thing might be seeing some play. Dream Trawler's good. Trix is good. But I think if I was playing this in pre-release, I'd be happy. But us opening it right now just for cards, you know, they can't all be winners. <laughs> well, uh, without too much time left, uh, that was the first pre-release kit we're opening on the channel. We have five more. We'll be seeing it in different forms, so look out for that. Thank you for watching. Bye.